Hey, in our previous class video, we did cover off headings and buttons and how you can add a CSS class name and then you can apply it to buttons whenever you want. But I wanna go a stage further now and combine that with the previous hover video that we've just put out as well. So I'm just gonna go over here and I'm gonna drop a button into the container like that. So that's a defaulted button. What I'm gonna do though is now apply some styling to a class name. So we will click on the button, we'll call it button style and save that. Make sure it's activated. Now what you can do is go in and modify how it looks. Just increase the size of the text over there so we can see it okay. And let's just give it a background color like something like that. Now every button when we apply that style will have that applied but I wanna go a stage further. Make sure you're still in the button, make sure the style is still in yellow. I'm gonna click the state and I'm gonna go into hover mode. Please do make sure that is still yellow. There is a chance it might come off a bit like this. Let me just show you. This might happen. If that happens, just put it back in again, okay? Because we wanna be touching this on the hover state. Now I'm gonna go over to my background and I'm gonna change the color to be a yellow and I'm gonna change the text to be a black color like that. I could even change the weighting as well when you hover over it. Let's now just drop in a brand new button into the container. If we click on the button, go over here and now we pick button style. It applies the normal style, but it also applies the hover style. Now that's really cool, right? So now you've applied everything within the CS style, but what if you wanna keep them separate? So I'm just gonna get rid of this style completely so it's not being applied to the second button and we're gonna create a completely new one, okay? I'm gonna call this one button standard and hit save. All we've done for this class is make it white text, okay? Now on the second button, I'm going to remove this here so the yellow is now no longer active. I am then gonna click the state and I am gonna go to the hover mode. And then over here, I am now gonna create a brand new class. So we're gonna call this one button hover. I'm gonna give that a completely different background color now of black, no, of white. And I'm gonna just make the text be black, okay? Just so we can see what's going on there. And I will now save that. Now let me show you what's going on when I come out of that. Cause you would have noticed the top button suddenly went back to yellow. Don't worry about that. Cause that top button there still has our original button style class applied. That had the standard color right? And it had the, the hover color as well. In fact, just to make things clearer, let me just add in another button so you can basically see, look, there's your default button, right? The button number one has got the button style. Button number two has now got the button standard, which was white text, but it also has the button hover. So watch what happens. When I hover there, I get yellow. When I hover there, I get a completely different style. So you could either do it as one, so you have your standard and your hover all built into one, or you could do separate ones. So you got your standard button and your settings, and then you have a separate hover. Why will you do that? Maybe you're gonna have different colors applying for different areas, maybe. Um, you know, I, I don't know. You, I mean, obviously you'd have a different button style to start off with, but maybe you want to separate things out. I hope that makes things clearer for you. And again, helps you to appreciate the class system that we got here. I'm Imran Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.